Pluto is a small and distant world in our solar system. For many years, it was considered the ninth planet before being reclassified as a dwarf planet. Even after its reclassification, Pluto continues to spark curiosity because of its unusual orbit and unique characteristics. It doesn't behave like the other planets. Recently, astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have made headlines with a surprising idea. They believe Pluto might one day collide with Neptune. This unexpected claim has stirred interest and raised many questions. How could two giant space bodies ever crash into each other? Pluto's orbit is far from normal. It doesn't follow a flat path around the Sun like the major planets. Instead, it takes a tilted and stretched route. Its orbit is so long that Pluto takes 248 Earth years to go around the Sun once. That means since it was discovered in 1930, it hasn't completed one full trip. What makes things more interesting is that Pluto's orbit crosses Neptune's. For about 20 years in each orbit, Pluto is actually closer to the Sun than Neptune. This crossing makes people wonder, why haven't they crashed yet? The answer lies in the delicate balance of gravity in space. The orbits of Pluto and Neptune are set in a way that keeps them from colliding. This is due to something called orbital resonance, a kind of cosmic timing. Every three times Neptune goes around the Sun, Pluto completes two orbits. This timing keeps them apart, even when their paths cross. Still, Pluto's orbit is unpredictable over long periods. Small changes can grow into big shifts when spread across millions of years. That's why some scientists now worry that a future collision, while unlikely, isn't impossible. Our understanding of space dynamics is always improving. Michio Kaku and Neil deGrasse Tyson both agree that Pluto's orbit needs to be studied more deeply. They point to the way gravity from other planets affects it. Jupiter, being the biggest planet, has a powerful pull that helps keep Pluto's path stable. But even Jupiter's influence can't guarantee perfect balance forever. In simulations, Scientists have seen that tiny disruptions can change orbits over time. This makes predicting future movements a tricky task. Pluto's path is a perfect example of how space can be both stable and chaotic at the same time. It is a lesson in the complexity of celestial mechanics. A collision between Pluto and Neptune would be a huge event. Because Pluto is smaller and mostly made of ice, it would likely shatter on impact. That kind of crash would send icy debris flying across space. Some of that could reach other planets, and possibly even come toward Earth. Neptune could also be affected. Its orbit or atmosphere might change, depending on how hard the impact is. The results wouldn't just be visual or physical. Such an event could give scientists a rare chance to study extreme energy and gravity conditions. Michio Kaku, known for his work in string theory, believes such a collision could even help test ideas in advanced physics. He suggests that the energy from the crash might reveal how fundamental particles behave. These are the tiny building blocks of everything in the universe. Though Earth would not be directly harmed, the scientific value of watching such a collision would be enormous. The topic of Pluto and Neptune colliding reminds us how much we still don't know. Space is full of surprises and complicated interactions. Our ability to predict planetary behavior depends on math models and computer simulations. But even the best systems can't forecast everything with certainty. That's why ongoing observation is important. The more we watch, the more we learn, and the better we understand our cosmic neighborhood. Pluto remains a special object of study. Its reclassification started debates about what defines a planet, and its orbit keeps scientists guessing. The spacecraft New Horizons flew by Pluto in 2015, giving us the best images we've ever seen. It showed icy mountains, frozen plains, and a thin atmosphere. This flyby changed how we see Pluto. It proved that even far-off dwarf planets can be rich and active worlds. Now scientists want to explore other icy objects beyond Neptune. These are called trans-Neptunian objects, and Pluto is one of the biggest among them. Studying Pluto helps us understand how the solar system formed. 
It also shows us how gravity shapes the paths of small and large objects alike. Pluto's location in the Kuiper Belt, a region full of icy bodies, makes it an important piece in the puzzle of solar system history. This belt is like a leftover zone from when the planets were forming. Learning more about it could help us uncover how Earth and the other planets came to be. The way Neptune influences Pluto also teaches us how giant planets can control the orbits of smaller ones. Astrophysicists are using this knowledge to look for planets around other stars. What we learn here helps us search smarter out there. Even if Pluto and Neptune never collide, thinking about the possibility helps us understand how space works. Some things that seem impossible can happen over millions of years in space. Time moves differently on a cosmic scale. The mystery of Pluto's orbit and its interaction with Neptune gives us an exciting reason to keep looking up and asking questions. Whether or not a collision happens, it keeps our minds open to the endless possibilities of what space still has to teach us. Pluto's strange dance through the solar system is more than just a curiosity. It's a reminder that even the smallest objects can have big impacts, literally and scientifically. As we continue to explore the outer reaches of our solar system, we'll uncover more secrets that help shape our view of the universe. The idea of Pluto crashing into Neptune may sound dramatic, but it also reflects our growing understanding of how celestial bodies interact over time. With every new discovery, our picture of the universe becomes clearer and more exciting. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.